In this video, we'd like to make some resistance measurements here, but definitely throw it in a different regime. We're not even going to look at electrical components at all. In fact, in this video here, we'll look at three substances just from around the house. In this cup here, I have a bit of distilled water. In this cup here, I have some regular water right out of the tap. In this cup here, I have some um, actually dirt from out in the garden here. So let's see if we can make some resistance tests of these items. So I'm using a slightly different meter than we've used in other videos just to show a little variety here, but I've got the two probes here, the black and the white. I've got the meter put on the ohm range here, and I've got the, the red lead plugged into the jack that has the ohm symbol on it for resistance and the black in common right there. And just to make sure everything's working, if I touch the two leads together here, of course the resistance goes down to something very low, 0.4 ohms in this case here, so I know I'm sort of operating and working in ohm mode. So let's just see what we get here. If we put the, the probes here into the distilled water, see water does indeed conduct and have a resistance of about uh, 136 kilo ohms, 136,000 ohms. If we go over here to the regular water, See, it has a lower resistance, something like 26 kilo ohms, and that's sort of the difference between distilled water and regular water, and that distilled water has been boiled and purified, so there's no minerals or anything in it at all, and the minerals are the things like the sodium and the potassium in the regular tap water that tends to cause conduction of electricity or lowering the resistance, so we can actually make purity tests of water based on its resistance, and again, the distilled water has a much higher resistance than, so there's something like about 100 kilo ohms or so, versus the 25 kilo ohms of the regular water. So case by case, the regular water always has a lower resistance than the distilled water. Because again, the regular water has minerals in it, which causes conduction. And if we go and just put the probes in the dirt, even right of the soil from outside, about 100 kilo ohms, 103 kilo ohms or so. So dirt is, of course, the conductor. There's water and minerals in dirt. And the electricity is able to conduct across the leads. Having dirt, making dirt have a resistance as well. And if you ever look at the hardware store for soil conductivity meters, that know when to turn your sprinkler off because it's too moist or what have not something that washes over your plant. Those are often just basic resistance measurements as well because good old dirt has water and minerals in it, just like regular water does, causing it to have a resistance as well. So a couple of resistance measurements for you there, but based on some rather odd devices.